Hey, what's going on there, everyone? I want to talk about what's been happening with Bitcoin, uh, especially in this past week here. So uh, let's start with this here. This is the on-chain uh, analysis or on-chain charts for Bitcoin. This chart right here looks at the ticker buy sell ratio. Uh, it's based off of moving average 50. And that's what this is down here. So what's happening right now is that there's actually, um, you know, this ratio has decreased. You know, it's starting to decline. That tells me that um, there's more sellers currently. And let's look at, you know, like, you know, price, of course, price have recently uh, spiked, right? Which was kind of expected, especially from a, you know, the ratio increasing over time here. However, for myself, I was kind of expecting price to move up a lot higher so that it could get like a, you know, a higher support level. But, you know, where it's at right now, you know, uh, let's look at what, what has been happening, um, you know, previously, right? So, if you look at what happened over here, when this ratio goes up, you know, what happens? Yes, that, that accumulation happened during the price dip, right? But if we look at how the price reacted, it, it went upward. No, just increase the uh, width of this. So, yeah, so what happened there? Price reacted moving upward. But what happens when there's a the price dips, right? You know, um, the the price dips afterwards. So what we're seeing right now is that we're in a phase where the take or buy sell ratio has been dropping. It's been trending going downward. Okay, so you know with this going moving upward, I was expecting price, you know, to move up somewhere around here, right? Somewhere around here that was gonna, you know, boost up people's sentiment, you know, people's gonna start going into Bitcoin and buying it, you know, stuff like that was going to happen. Uh, although we did get like a, a run-up, it wasn't the run-up that I was expecting. Okay, I was expecting a bigger increase in that. But now that the ratio is starting to trend downward, I would expect, you know, price to move in response to that, you know, since there's going to be more sellers selling their Bitcoin. Now, of course, no, this this is uh, speculating, right? This is predicting what's going to happen next because what if this ratio, you know, what if it fakes and it spikes back upward? Because that could very, very well still happen, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? So, you know, we can't predict what is going to happen from, you know, going forward. But if we looked at what has already happened, you know, it's, it's trending downward. If I take a look at inflows, right? Uh, we're not going to save this. If I take a look at inflows, currently right now we're still in an accumulation zone. So this is the net flow, and moving average is 100, right? Uh, it's right up here. So during an accumulation zone, we see more outflows than we do see inflows. If we look at what has happened in the past over here, you know, look at this right here. That was 2017 and 2018. There was a huge amount of inflows, and that was being sold on cryptocurrency exchanges. Now, if we look at this over here, okay, here's the recent inflow, right? Now, the last time we had that happen was in middle of, of uh, 2021, where we saw Bitcoin's price dip. And then recently, well, there's been a lot of accumulation happening right here, right? So let me just kind of move that down here, right here. However, what's interesting about this run is that, you know, price has been kind of moving downward, right? Um, it has kind of moved upward. I'm going to try to put this in a way where uh, you can see it. Now, now price has moved upward, but, you know, here's what I want to talk about today, right? So what, what happened during this price movement upward, okay? So in order for me to talk about that, let's look at the um, UTXO. These are um, transactions that are unspent after, you know, an address makes an, a transaction, okay? So, oh, actually... This is looking at addresses that holds be, holds less than uh, 10 Bitcoin. Now, if you look at what's been happening is that, you know, they've been accumulating here, okay? So if you look at this zone right here, okay? This, you know, short-term holders, or not, sorry, not short-term holders, but Bitcoin holders holding less than 10 Bitcoin has been accumulating. Now, here's what I want to talk about, okay? So... Let's take a look and see what 
other holders are doing. So this is holders holding between 10 to 100 Bitcoins. They've been actually selling, okay? They've been selling, so that's been kind of concerning. If you look at the uh, holders holding between 100 to 1,000 Bitcoin, this is what they're doing too. They've been selling. Now what's interesting is that holders holding 1,000 Bitcoins to 10,000 Bitcoin, they've actually just recently accumulated, okay? As an overall, they accumulated. Now, if we uh, if we look at what's happening or what happened there was that you know they accumulated, but if you look at this right here, they recently actually sold. They they recently sold this price pump right here. Now you know why why would they sell right? So if you look at this down here, they accumulated and that was around thirty eight thousand for Bitcoin's price. They're selling at around forty seven thousand. So that you're looking at like a you know, 15 to 20 percent gain there, right? And that happened in less than a month. Yeah, that was a month. So you have to understand that that when you make a huge purchase, especially for a well, you know, if they earn 15 to 20 percent in like a month, they're they're, they're going to sell. They're going to take profits. So we we see um, profit taking right here, and I want to talk about that a little bit more. So we're going to dive into the hour chart, and this is what has been concerning to me, right? So if we look at this is um, the range from 1,000 to 10,000 uh, for uh, wallet holders uh, for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin supply on that address ranging from 1,000 to 10,000, right? You know, if we look at the shorter time frame, my concern is this, right? Look at that. That's a drop. Right? So that means they sold, you know, during the price, during the strength of, you know, the price in increase, right? As price was moving upward, they sold. Now, if we look at the next population here, right? If this is a 100 to 1,000 Bitcoin, look look at what they're doing. They're doing the exact same thing. They're selling, okay? So, they sold this price pump, okay? And then now let's look at the next wave or the next group right here. These are um, holders holding 1,000 Bitcoin, or sorry, uh, 10 to uh, 100 Bitcoin. I'm getting my numbers mixed up right here, but you get what I'm saying. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, holders between 10 to 10,000 plus Bitcoin, they're actually, uh, they actually use this price spike that we recently had last week to sell. And to me, that's uh, that's concerning, right? Because um, what we typically want to see is a price, I mean, is um, accumulation happening for you know, for big holders. Now, if we look at one to ten Bitcoin, you know, uh, holders holding one to ten Bitcoin, what what happened here? It went up. That meant that they they bought, they accumulated up here, right? So, you know, if they're buying, who's selling them those Bitcoin? And you know, from the chart, it was uh, you know, people holding bigger coins. Like for example, I'm gonna this chart right here is uh the purple one. That's holders holding between one hundred to a thousand Bitcoin. They're selling their bitcoins to you know, the, you know people with less money. Basically, that's what's happening. And you know we we're seeing a transition of that happening right now. And here here this next one is uh, holders holding between you know 0.1 to one bitcoin. They're doing the same thing, right? They're they're accumulating. Okay. Now if we look any lower than that. Same thing is happening. You know, if this is a holders holding less than a 0.1 Bitcoin, they're also accumulating. So we're actually in a phase where we're seeing smaller money, where we call shrimps. They're actually coming into Bitcoin and accumulating the coins. Now, who's selling them those Bitcoin? And it's actually whales. You know, people with um, higher account balances. You know, they're selling their supply to, you know, to smaller bag holders. Now. That's concerning to me because the big bag holders, they hold majority of the supply. Now, a while back, let me see if I could uh, find something here. All right, so this is the supply distribution, right? So I wanted to show this because, um, you know, I did this back on March, 2000, March 23rd, 2022, right? Just very recently. And... You know, this matters a lot because, you know, holders hold it between 10 to 10,000 Bitcoin. If you look at these percentage right here, that's almost 70%, okay? 
and holders holding less than 10 Bitcoin, you know, you're looking at 15, 15 to 17% of that. And what's happening right now is that the holders in the green right here, they're actually selling their Bitcoin to the, you know, the lower, you know, like shrimps, you know, um, people with less money. Now, of course, the question is, why is that, right? So we're seeing a situation where it's definitely accumulation. You know, we're, we're still in the accumulation phase, but this is like the first phase of whales selling their Bitcoin to shrimps, okay? Um, dolphins and whales, you know, selling their Bitcoin to shrimps. And they still hold majority of the supply, but this is definitely the first wave of that. Um, you know, to me, it's kind of alarming. I mean, I, I know a lot of people was ex expecting price to move higher, but, you know, when I see stuff like this happen, I'm actually, um, you know, betting on it to actually correct unless we have enough people. Like, if there's enough positive sentiment going forward, then yes, you know, that's going to increase the demand on the exchange, right? The demand for Bitcoin. And if that does happen, price will shoot up. Or else if we have like a huge buyer coming into the crypto space to buy more Bitcoin, then, you know, that will cause price to spike forward. But for these things, we can't, we don't know, right? We can't predict that, hey, you know, a new buyer is going to come in here and buy a bunch of Bitcoin. Uh, what we are seeing is that whale holders are starting to sell their coins to, you know, shrimps. And, you know, this is the first phase of it. There's going to need to be more of this to happen for a whole market correction. But as of right now, you know, we're starting to see the first phase of that. And, you know, whales and dolphins are are starting to take profit. And we can see that. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here and, and show everyone. Um, I know everyone's very excited about it being a, in, we're in a accumulation phase. I'm excited about that too because typically in a accumulation phase, you know, price move upward, right? So, you know, the last time that that happened was right here. And, you know, so this was the accumulation. L look at price. Price went upward. Okay, so that was the accumulation part. And, you know, when we see uh, more inflows coming in, look, you know, kind of like, you know, look at the orange right here. What did price do? Price reacted in a, a response, right? It went downward. And, you know, right here again, we see accumulation, price spiked. And, you know, like I was saying, what's interesting was despite the accumulation happening here, price was dipping. You know, however, I, I do want to add some last part, some last stuff to this right here. You know, if you stuck around for this long, uh, let me talk about something here, okay? Um, I'm going to give you the harsh truth here. So if we, I'm, I'm going to have us look at, you know, the average and what's been happening on bitcoin okay like if if we were to sell if i was going to say sell it should have happened around this time okay or this phase right here right now currently this part of it is in question okay because we we don't know um if it's going to continue going upward or if you know we're going to see more will and dolphin sell off if uh, more sell off does happen you know i i am going to say expect price to dip OK, but if more accumulation continues to happen and sentiment goes positive, we will see price go up. And, you know, those we, we don't know. Right. So let me show you why I'm saying that if you were to sell, it should have been this section, this area right here, because a lot of the transaction that happened actually happened over here already. A lot of the will sell off a lot of. Yeah, it, it happened over here already. So. Let me just kind of look at, you know, outflows. If we look at the average outflows, okay, uh, let me, let me do this. I'm just going to go, let's do a line. So if we look at transactions on here, in terms of outflows, right now we're not seeing a lot of outflows happening for Bitcoin, okay? Okay. Um, even though we are in a accumulation, that accumulation is actually not happening through a lot of wallets. It's actually, you know, in terms of volume, it's, it's actually really low. So this is the moving average 100 for the um, Bitcoin exchange outflows. If we look at, if we scroll out, right, this is 2017, 2018 right here. Okay. Look at this down here. 
when it hit its down low here, price kind of dipped lower. So my concern is, are we going to have a situation where this happens, right? Where we'll see more outflows happen, but, you know, because price has been, you know, constantly moving sideways for a while, like what we saw in 2018 here, you know, what if people decided to be like, hey, I just give up on this, sell the rest of our holding, screw Bitcoin. Now, we, we don't know, right? But, you know, if we look at this over here, price has been kind of moving steadily. Although I just wanted to point out that in terms of outflow, we're actually at an all-time low. Now, this isn't just outflow. If we look at inflows, right? Inflows is also at an all-time low. So this chart right here is the inflow for the moving uh, average 100. Again, similar thing. So, I mean, what, what it's telling me is that people are actually holding their Bitcoins more, more now than, than what, they, what, what has happened. Um, it's either they're holding their Bitcoin on, on their wallets or in the exchange. So seeing less outflows tells me that, they, or sorry, inflows tells me that they're holding more of Bitcoin onto their addresses or their wallets. And then seeing less outflows means that people are using the exchange to hold their Bitcoin, you know, kind of like as a wallet, a place to store their Bitcoin. And we're seeing that more and more in this second half to current of 2000, you know, the second half of 2021 and current. So, you know, for me, um, in terms of on-chain charts, you know, if you wanted to sell, it should have been this right here. So if we look at, I'm going to keep going here. If we look at, you know, realized cap, this is going to be a very messy chart. And uh, I'll, I'll make a different video regarding this uh, in the future. And, and I'm going to just turn turn these on. Now, the, the darker the, uh, the color, it means long-term holders. You know, what we're seeing is that a lot of the long-term holders did their, you know, uh, accumulation during this phase. If you look at what's happened over here, you know, when I move this box over here, we see that they're, basically they're unloading their Bitcoin onto short-term holders. And, you know, we see this back in 2017, 2018 over here too. If we look at this over here, what happened, right? So we see this chart right here. They're basically unloading their supply and then who's buying that supply? Uh, the lighter colors, which in this case are short-term holders. So they're buying up the supply and then, you know, when they sell, long-term holders comes back in, picks up that supply. And, you know, in 2021, that's what exactly we saw. So that's why I said that, you know, if you're looking to sell, it should have been done back here during that first, that second half of 2021. Now, if you haven't sold, you know, let's go to this chart here. Uh, I'm going to make sure this is right at one and it is. Yeah, if you haven't sold, right now we're in a accumulation zone. And this was, this little red right here was what I was talking about earlier. We had sell off happen. OK, uh, I don't know if that's going to continue and it's going to shift downward. We don't know. But what this is telling us is that during this down here, that was the accumulation point. If you were trying to buy or you try and get the bottom, it should have been somewhere down here. OK, and I, I understand, you know, it was hard to like it's hard to predict that this was the bottom because, if you know, to predict that, if we look at this right here, that was during this point. Right. We haven't seen all these green come in. So we don't know if that was an accumulation zone or not, but, you know, we could see the trend as time goes by. So if you look at the next couple of months following, this is January 23rd or 22nd, following that right there, we're starting to see green come in. That's, that's accumulation, okay? Uh, people are, are accumulating. So if they're accumulating down here at like the 30, like under 40K mark, if price moves to the mid 40s, of course they're going to sell because you, you got to understand that's like 10 to 20 percent within a month time frame. OK, so, you know, we, we should expect some selling to happen, you know, so I don't know, you know, going forward, I don't know if we're going to break past that. You know, um, I do know that after seeing what happened uh, with the um, larger wallets, now I'm, a, I'm more aware of that, you know, larger wallets are looking to sell and take profits. So that's something to keep in on your radar, too. And. I know I'm kind of dragging this video for too long. I don't want to drag it for too long, but 
yeah, that's all. That's kind of my message today. So uh, yeah, just keep this on your radar. So yeah, if you like the video, click the like button below and subscribe. And then you know, I'll talk more about this in you know in the future. So see ya.